That's very sure. Now, the session actually stopped on March 13th, which means it's been more than a month since many legislators have actually physically met. But they tell me it doesn't mean that they haven't been busy. We've all been really working around the clock. And um, it's been quite an adjustment not being able to do the work that we love to do in person. There will be some changes to this session. For instance, legislators will only cover one third of the bills that have already been filed. And all 143 lawmakers won't be present at the Capitol for safety reasons. State reps say the budget should be at the top of the list. Legislators are expecting a large financial gap from widespread unemployment and closed businesses. Now some people are even attempting uh, I think foolishly to overthrow, uh, take away the governor's executive authority to, to, to keep the emergency in place. But what we need to be focused on is the budget. We need to be focused on unemployment insurance. We need to be focused on uh, small business interruption insurance. Representatives say during the suspension of the session, they received calls from citizens on a range of topics. We've been feeling a lot of calls uh, on unemployment, uh, unemployment issues. Folks either can't get through or having issues with their unemployment, uh, as well as issues with businesses calling you know, kind of pressuring, hey, when are we going to open up? Uh, letting us know just kind of where they stand financially. With a shortened session and restrictions now in place, lawmakers themselves are now entering an unchartered phase at the Capitol. From a health concern, I mean, that you have to, you know, obviously uh, I'll be wearing a mask as I expect most people to be wearing a mask, but that's not required to get into the Capitol. Um, I think, you know, it all, it all depends on your level uh, of prepared when you get there. Now, we're told that this session will actually end June 1st, and most likely there will be a special session that will start sometime after. For now, reporting live in Mid-City, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.